going on guys uh i so i recently i made this heater cover for my sister i wanted to make a video for her and you guys so you guys can go ahead and try to utilize that in your day-to-day -day life so this can be of some help to you guys i'll try to explain to you guys uh easily so it's easy for you to power through to make the radiator covers you basically need to make sure that you need to cut the wood pieces properly perfect sizing and two you need to put piece them together properly that's basically the main concept. So three things you need to uh, make sure, the three measurements you would need is the length, height, and width. So this to this, front to back, is ca called the length. Side to side is the width. And then from bottom to top, that's the height. So once you make those measurements, you also need to keep in mind that if there's any special measurements, such as a notch or anything for the window sills, you need to make cut those pieces too. So now where everything fits perfectly. Uh, I bought the wood pieces from the local Home Depot stores and also I bought this metal mesh that I actually have a piece right here so you can see how it looks. So these things uh, could run you about 30 bucks but they're absolutely worth it once you really have them because uh, they're quite strong so Azan it will be able to hopefully hold back Azan. So once you finish up everything that's when you go ahead and uh, use a paint to go ahead and paint in any color you want. I went with white, white's pretty generic, and it kind of fits it, it goes with the gold uh, metal mesh that I actually used. Also wanted to mention one more thing. When I mentioned the notch, this is one of the, this is an example of it. I went, I went ahead and made this cut to fit it right on uh, top of her windowsill. So in that way, the, there is no gap. It fits flush against the wall. You want a clean look. You don't want a messy look. Hopefully, I'll explain you guys a lot more in depth as the video goes by. So, if you guys have any co comments or questions, leave them uh, below. I'll try my best to get them to you. So, let's get started. As you sand them, you want to keep in mind that the edges, even though they will be, these will be the ones that are going to make the base, top base of the heater cover. But what you want to make sure is these edges right here are also sanded down properly because they come directly from factory and you don't know if uh, they're properly sanded down or not and you don't want anyone to get a wood splinter. Those things hurt, especially when it's a little kid. One of the things I always do is I always label these so it's easier when I'm working on putting them together. Now, I also wanna make a hole in between them so I can have the heat being distributed properly through the side as well, not just the front. So I'm in the process of measuring them. One of the things I do, I take a tape measure and I measure them in multiple places. In this way, in this way you have more accurate measurement because I don't have my square with me nor jigsaw. So it's gonna be a tough cut, but I'm gonna try to get the circular saw to work around that. Uh, one of the things I wanna keep in mind is this wood itself is nine inch wide so i want that window to be in between two to seven inch so in that way i have enough heat distribution from the left and right side so i'm trying to cut through the left side first i'm going to repeat the process on the right one as well so one of the things guys always do is this is a circular saw and now i need to make a hole in my left side board um, this is a little trick always helps me is uh, so I untighten this screw and that way you can always move this portion of it this is the screw so this circular saw with this you can set up how deep you want the cuts uh, me given how I am I always go with uh, one inch which is right here so I'm gonna set that I'm gonna tighten the screw up and I'll go ahead and make the cuts. What you wanna do is you wanna slowly bring them in from the top. Thank you. 
this is where this cut comes in handy because you don't want that whole chain uh, blade to go in depth because what happens it doesn't give you that cut right in the center of it it ends up giving a bigger cut than you need You go flip the board and now by flipping the board I can even out the cut and it's going to actually turn out to be an exact square. Remember, you always want to make a cut in the center. The center cut actually helps you break that wood window. So it basically opens up um, like a window. So it's a lot easier for you. One of the things you always, oh, by the way, this is what I was talking about. One of the things I always um, was mentioning now, what you're gonna be left with is these things. Luckily, what I actually have is, let me see if I can find it, is one of these uh, finders. These are metal finders. So it helps me chip out. Metal filers work a lot better for me personally because I can put more pressure in the corners. Even these are the holes I was able to carve out. So my sister actually has a 10 inch radiator and these are nine inch. So what I did, I cut these uh, one inch strips and I'm gonna first glue them and then I'm gonna use nails to just completely put them in place. I've spread the nail now evenly. Now what I'll do is I'm actually going to just put them just, I don't have a clamp, so I'm just gonna use nails to put them in place. So this is how the back looks. Uh, one of the things you guys will notice, I use nails and I also use stapler pins. So to hold the metal mesh against these moldings that I pointed out to you guys earlier on top. So they actually just stay firm. Thank you guys for watching. I know I might not be the best person to explain it, but uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment and I'll definitely get back to you. Thank you so much for watching guys. I know my brother pretty much showed everything in this video. However, he couldn't film when he put everything together because he was rushing to bring the heater cover to my house so that Azan can be safe as he plays around that area. But if you guys want to see a detailed video, please let us know in the comments because we need more covers for our heaters and he can definitely film it for you guys. Thank you so much. Take care and stay safe.